Hey everyone, it's Lauren here. I'm back today to share with you another free printable layout and I am using the free May printable from the lovely Tiffany Julia. I'll link her in the comments below so you can head on over to her website if you want to grab this free printable and create a layout um, with it like I am today. So I'm just starting off with just a little bit of acrylic paint, just a couple of lovely colours. They are, I think it's carnation and apricot from the Dina Wakely little um, little acrylic paint pots, which are perfect for mixed media scrapbookers, apricot and yeah, I think it was carnation. And I'm just using my jelly plate roller just to roll it on and add some white splatters there with some watered down acrylic paint. Now, the reason why I decided to use my jelly plate roller there, my brayer, is because it gives a bit of a different texture to the layout. It sort of, um, your paint doesn't blend as well. It sort of layers up and sits on top of each other and it sort of gives that rough kind of rustic look, which is what I want um, for this layout. Now here's the printable. I've also added in a few little stamped uh, black and white flowers there and they're from a stamp set called I think Adore You by Alt New and I just had those there so I fussy cut them out and they're just going to help that black and white photo just sort of tie in together with the layout but all the other little bits and pieces that you see there are from the printable you've got some gorgeous journaling journaling cards some tags some floral embellishments and a few perfectly pink butterflies and I am just as you can see I'm just making a cluster around my photos now the uh, the the two photos that I've got here are three by four inch together but I printed them onto one standard four by six format so I didn't have to cut them out I knew I wanted to block them together like that and even though they are different I knew that that beautiful flower that I'd fussy cut there would help divide the two photos so as you can see this is just classic layering techniques using all the bits out of the printable just to create a kind of a cuddle around your photos using the tags in different angles and different spots so it creates a bit of contrast and then adding those little intricate pieces with those black and white flowers and soon to be those butterflies now I think the black the reason why I really wanted those black and white is because the photos are black and white I didn't want to just have it swamped in in the pinks and I, I wanted something to kind of contrast it and help it out and I think just by adding those few little stamped features um, black in that black and white ink there well sorry black ink um, it I think it's just sort of tied it all together now you don't need to use that stamp set any floral stamp step will do and it will just create that little cluster down the bottom there and as you can see I'm just now checking whether I've squeezed that that photo cluster all in the in the correct space which I which I had and now I'm putting that on onto my braid uh, mixed media background there and as you can see you can hardly see much of that paint um, but it's just enough to give that little bit of a a transition from my my scrapbooking cluster onto my page and it's just sort of softened softened it down so I'm just thinking about my title and I pulled out these gorgeous thickers from I'm not sure what collection they are but they they're quite old the problem is they're actually really tricky to get off that sticker sheet maybe they're getting too old and there's something going on with the adhesive but I managed to get the word blessings off there and uh, this photo is of a letter that my my mother Katie's grandmother wrote to her during COVID because she couldn't get cuddles off her grandchildren so she wrote them all letters which is really special so having Katie having a beautiful relationship with my mum is a blessing and I knew that title would sort of tie in with this the whole feel of this layout as well so I'm just using some little foam squares adding my final embellishments on and that's to bring the layout to life if I use a bit of foam tape behind those butterflies I knew that it would look like they're sort of jumping off the page a little and it sort of just brings that last little bit to life there and um, 
Yeah, this is the fun little bit. We're just playing and moving things around, checking where you think things need to be. And all these beautiful little pink embellishments have come just from that free printable. Now that free printable is free for the month of May. But once it clocks over into June, which I know that's really soon, there's a small fee attached to that printable. So if you're watching this in May and you really think you'd like to put a layout like this together, head on over to the website and download that now. She also has lots of other beautiful things and um, but if not it's own she only charges a few dollars um, once that end of month is over and it's still worth it beautiful beautiful soft florals and they're just dreamy her free printables and every month I can't wait to see which one which one comes out next and I've I've never not loved one so here I am thinking about my journaling I'm going to add some journaling under that title blessings there but I'm having a problem with my black pens I just it's really funny I've got a whole bunch of black pens they're all the same size because it tends to be the size that I really fall back on but they all write differently I don't know if this is happens to everyone but each of them write differently so I just wanted to I didn't want the, um, this pen to be really thick and take over the journaling to take over the layout so I just wanted that happy medium with my um, pen size and and the the thickness in which it would write so I found one here and I see what I'm happy with and then I'm going to go and underline with a really fine black pen just to sort of help it pop off the page and not look like it's just sort of sitting in the middle of nowhere but I only wanted it to be fine because I didn't want those lines to take over as well but as you can see those lines just finished it off and there you have it there's my layout all done thank you for watching and I hope you pop on over and have a have a scrap with a free printable all right guys take care happy scrapping bye Thank you.